and today I'm going to talk about Linux. We're going to make an Ubuntu box and we are going to turn it into a LAMP stack. So that what that LAMP stack means is Linux, Apache, MySQL, MariaDB, whichever one you want to use, and PHP. It's a very common um, platform out there and this is uh, going to be a tutorial on how to set up uh, a basic LAMP stack on Ubuntu. Let's get started. All right, here we go. Here is my Linux box that I am uh, SSH'd into. And um, <clears throat> we're going to start off. The first thing we want to do is, and, and this is pretty typical anytime you're ready to start to do any kind of uh, installation on a Linux box, is you want to go ahead and make sure it is properly updated. To do. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so now it has done a basic update. And basically what that did is it went out and uh, refreshed all the repositories and made sure that when you're gonna do an install that it, it will be the latest stuff. So sudo again, apt get install Apache, Apache 2. There we go. And then we're gonna hit yes on that. All right, great. Let's go ahead and check on the firewall. I don't know if I have this. All right, so you see that there that Apache, Apache Full, and Apache Secure are all set up in that. So let's just go to and just look at that. So if you look at that in the firewall, you see the Apache full, it shows the port 80 and port 443, which port 80 is your normal HTTP port and 443 is your HTTPS port. So let's go ahead and allow that. And there you go. All right. So now, if I figure out what the IP of this machine, I will look up here and looks like it is 225. So let me just get another browser over here. One seven two dot one six dot seven zero dot two twenty five. And boom, there you go. Hi. Apache is installed. Uh, this is the default Apache page and it will uh, show you everything that needs to happen there. All right, let's minimize that for now. We'll go back on to our next step. So we're going to install uh, MySQL now. And that's a pretty easy package to do. And paste. And that's just MySQL dash server. Go ahead and install that guy. Hit the yes on that. And the next step after this is we're going to, uh, there's a secure pack or secure script that you run, which uh, basically goes through uh, MySQL and, and, and gives it, makes it set up a little bit better. Go ahead and say yes on this. All right, so sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation and boom. So there we go. Um, basically, what this is going to do is just do some best practices things here. So what that just what I just went through there was uh, removing anonymous users and disallowing root login from remotely. And so basically that disallow remote remote root remote um, 
basically means that you can't stop log in as the, the the MySQL's admin account from a from anything but this virtual machine. And there are test databases and things like that in here, so you can also remove that stuff. Reload the permissions tables, and boom, you are basically set up MySQL. sudo apt install php uh, libapache and php mysql i'm going to just go ahead and paste those in here and those are going to install and it'll take just a second all right there you go now let's go ahead and take a look at a couple apache things here So, if you see this guy right here, you want to make sure that you have the index.php in it. And realistically, you want to take that index.php and move it to the beginning. So that's the first thing it looks like looks at. So there you go for that. And then if you just hit control, and this is nano, so if you hit control X, it'll get you out of there. And then yes, to save your changes. If you have troubles saving your changes, then it probably means you didn't do it as a super user. So you need to go ahead and do that as a studio operation. So let's go ahead and restart Apache. And then we can just check the status of Apache. Pretty simple also. There you go. See, active running. All right. So, you'll notice we don't have an index PHP to even look at. So, let's go ahead and create one. So here's our index.html. And so for a basic PHP page, let me just go ahead and create that. And simple as can be is this guy right here. Um, here's your PHP part, and all it's going to say is hello word, world. Now, if I go back here to my page it says hello world <laughs> so that's all there is to it to getting your basic uh, lamp stack set up yeah if you want to do something such as wordpress or some of these other uh, content management systems there are more things that you will need to install but uh, if you want a basic php set up to where you can start uh, writing some php code now you have it that's all there is to it stay tuned next time for our next video Thanks for uh, making it to the end.